I get into a town and they have a nearby airport, go out and meet the air traffic controllers in the tower, talk to them and tell them what you're doing. You're building a paper mill right down the road. Well, everybody, I want to show you the trees while I got a chance. Look at it. Now this is after a few cold nights and rain, real heavy rain. And look at it. You can see the change, especially in that one. It's lost a lot of leaves, but the one behind it is uh, really in the, I guess that's a copper, copper color. Now look, you can see how high the creek is. Look at that. Water's rolling. The water got up pretty high. I don't think it got inside of the garrison and the basement level of the Ozark Mill. But I did what I needed to do. I, I made sure that people knew that the water was going to come up high. So they say the security people are in charge of it. So I called them and let them know that uh, it could be a problem with uh, the flooding and the guy thanked me and he said he appreciated it and said that he would take uh, action to make sure that we discussed the flood doors and he didn't know that they had to be shut uh, quite a few hours ahead of time before they could get a hundred percent what they call the seals around the door they're really thick and they have to seat. So as you shut the doors, they give yourself like three or four hours before the water gets into the bottom, start lapping the bottom of it, you, you're seated enough that you're not gonna have any water filtration. But you gotta be willing to shut the doors, you gotta watch the weather and all that kind of thing. I'm, I'm, I could be a meteorologist as much as I've done in construction that had to have uh, accurate weather reports. And this is all the way back into the <laughs> late 70s and 80s and 90s. Uh, I'll just tell you this story real quick. Uh, an older man took me aside and he said, buddy, uh, one day you're going to be the man and have to tell the superintendents over construction because I was a surveyor when would be the best time to pour by watching the weather and now this is before the internet this is before they had even good you know <laughs> weather predicting abilities but he gave me a secret he told me that if I get into a town and they had a nearby airport go out and meet the air traffic controllers in the tower. Talk to them and tell them what you're doing. You're building a paper mill right down the road and can you give me an uh, uh, update on how close, if I called you, how close the rain is. Is it like going to rain on us in 30 minutes or it's going to be six hours before it gets here? And I did that and I fought my whole career through <laughs> through doing that until of course the internet got and uh, the modeling of the weather got so good you could do it off of the internet and have predicted radar on the internet showing you the actual but way back then you had to go through the air traffic controllers to really get a good feel for was it going to be safe to pour concrete that day so <laughs> that's how I no, I, I got the skills of a meteorologist. <laughs> Y'all have a good day.